The art of a war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. The whole secret lies in confusing the enemy, so that he cannot fathom our real intent. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. The skillful leader subdues the enemy's troops without any fighting, he captures their cities without laying siege to them, he overthrows their kingdom without lengthy operations in the field. The art of war is a matter of constant adaptation. The general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. The general who advances without coveting fame and retreats without fearing disgrace, whose only thought is to protect his country and do good service for his sovereign, is the jewel of the kingdom. The art of war is governed by five constant factors, all of which need to be taken into account. The victorious strategist only seeks battle after the victory has been won, whereas he who is destined to defeat first fights and afterwards looks for victory. The whole art of war consists in getting at what is on the other side of the hill.